boy. She no be jana te Jamaica boy. Kudo de so that I'm making noise. She look good, she chill, got that thick coat. It don't matter though. Young nigga from Canada, uh. Brought from that bullshit and go like a matador. Iketara ikua. My nichi ori no goro e kakita. All right, it's Kubera time, people. Let's get it. <clears throat> Rao, talk to me, man. The temple is in a pretty good state considering the gods and that's because we're fighting in it. Did they restore it before leaving? Oh, yes, I remember now the root that was reforming. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. The one thing I am curious about is this carving. I don't think it was there before. What is it? I set things up so that other people cannot approach this place. You can safely wait here. It'll be noisy outside for a while. Hide here. It's okay to just stay here. I look like you were having a hard time earlier, but you don't need any more help. I'm fine. Earlier, I was just chicken for a moment. As long as you stay in the temple, there won't be any more problems. I'll be back after I take care of some business. After that, I will look for a way back for you too. Ah, I understand. Thank you for always helping me out like this. Now the Phoenix Magic Intensive begins. I was a little nervous because of the chain of events, but I was also lucky to come to Tai Talika. Anyways... This is a planet that will be able to safely pass through the Phoenix magic incident. Having a hiding place like this is perfect. Rao, you must not leave and stay right here. Okay, I'll be waiting here, Anata. And he says that, as I guess, Anata looks at him like, you ain't, you ain't about to stay here, nigga. <laughs> You're about to disobey. He walks away. Ooh, ooh, why is it like that? That panel, that pan, I'm scared. I'm afraid. What's going on? One Last God, Kubera, Story Night by Curry Gum, Season 3, Episode 235, Anata 24, Kobe. 2-4, baby. That's Yama. That's me. Yama Nim. We have been looking for you for a long time. So you were here. Sorry, give me one second. Uh, yes, install now. Uh, a while ago, you didn't even seem to be in Infernal Hell. Did you go somewhere else? The earth is noisy, but there's no way you would go there. Personally, I'm a name. I just had to organize my thoughts, so I wandered a bit deeper into hell. Is that in your... Wait, is that in your hand the list that you want to deal with this time? If it's work, we'll do it, so please hand it to us. Ah, no. I will take care of this. Tell me why you were looking for me. It seems it became quite busy soon. It will be quite busy soon. I heard that after the Phoenix magic was cut off, the representative of Nasica started retaliating. Then won't a lot of humans die too? The fourth and fifth Zen gods are in the middle of rallying against them? No. Even if the Nazcas retaliate, they will aim for planets with no humans and give gods a direct blow. They will try to avoid slaughtering humans as much as possible. Since they know the more souls they kill, the more vulnerable they become to the paradisal flare. What did. Wait. You see something? Someone. Someone's, why, do you, why are you shocked by this? I mean, don't make. Stop making them noises. Computer. What did you just say the gods are gathering? Yes, the fifth Zen gods are already together due to a meeting they held. Everyone except Kubera and him. What about Agni? Agni wasn't at the meeting either. There's no way he's involved. Agni Nim is already participating though? He went to the place where Suki's attacking. Ah, that idiot. I told him to never leave and if there was... Wait, I told him to never leave and if there was a danger of one dying to die together. But he didn't get the meaning when I gave him such a bla blatant hint. Why do you relax like that? Hey, did you see that just now? The list Yama was holding? I think I saw Nasika's name on it. Wait. Yo. Okay. Sizzle, sizzle. Want to eat it together? I'll, only, I'll feel bad if, I, if only I eat what you brought. Eat all the meat first, then brought a, a small portion to... <laughs> What shall we talk about today? Yesterday we talked about the, the, the fire tournament, so right. Now I should talk about my girlfriend, who I met as an opponent. I don't want to hear that. Actually, the relationship between me and her isn't at the point where I can confidently call her my girlfriend. Since we are so close, it's awkward to change our relationship. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> so I guess I couldn't help but hesitate for so long. Do you understand that feeling? Single since birth. <laughs> Yo, bro. Listen, Bruno. Listen, Ron. We all go through it, man. Listen. People look at me a certain type of way. I've gone, I gone through all the ups and downs and trials and tribulations, the good, the bad, in the middle of the dating minefield. Man, it is what it is. We all go through it, man. I get it, man. It's, it's hard being a man out here. It's hard, man. <laughs> when Rastikas are grown up as you, they have a lot of experience with dating and have children. My story must sound like a childish joke. Haha. <laughs> Anyways, just listen anyway. Without talking, it would be so boring. 
he was equally talkative as human as the human Ran Sarafi. And while listening to his private trivial stories, I became certain who his future daughter, who he didn't know about yet, was. They look alike and the name Lee's. Besides, the story of the Friday tournament was from the year D995. That's about the same era, so it would be stranger if that they were not father and daughter. He's said to be a fighter from Will Arv, and his journey started when he found himself in a situation where he nearly died during his mission and jumped to a portal he discovered. As I listened, it seemed to be the same place I had been through. Do I have to pass through that, that place to go back to my original time after all? I hope Anata will show me the right path this time. I have no desire to go to a world of possibility that will be destroyed again. This time I must go back to the true world to create a future where they do not die. Maruna, my son. My son. <sighs> is it because he's stuck here? His conditioning is wor is getting worse by the day. Oh, haha! Are you worried about me? I'm okay. I'm just feeling a bit unwell. Maybe it's because I haven't eaten nothing. It's because I've eaten nothing but meat lately. I'm desperate for some fresh vegetables. Look at him sneakily placing an order. Since I gave him some of the meat I hunted, he thinks he can ask for anything, and I'll bring it, eh? <laughs> Please come again next time. Bartered for with meat. <laughs> Why did you complain if you were gonna do it anyways, bro? <laughs> it would be annoying if he just died like that. That's all. The Phoenix Magician seemed to be very dissatisfied. To be honest, isn't it rather a welcome occurrence for us people who don't use penis magic? Getting rid of uh, magic that causes a lot of damage every now and then is right. But won't the servers retaliate? Isn't it, this, isn't it their fault in the first place? How could they make such a one-sided decision? Phoenix magic incidents didn't start happening yesterday. This time, it seems that the issue is a little bit bigger. This was the last straw. I'm in a position where I use Phoenix magic to make a living. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to live off now? It's true that the royal family is a problem, but the Sura who caused the decisive event is more of a problem. The real villain, the true, the real villain, we might get kicked out of city because of him. I knew of him to be one of the relatively good Suras. It's a great shock. It's unpredictable that the pure bloods are condemning us, saying that we are untrustworthy. Where will we go? Another planet? It's no use. The rumors have already spread, spread all over to the other planets. Since that is the case we have to hide our clan's origins as long as the king is criticized from all over the universe we anata clan has we have nowhere to live in peace as the day goes by the hostility of the humans grow at first it was just a bit of a rumor that spread but now it has become a fact if anata gave a statement it could be rectified i don't know where he is or what he's doing cough 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 huh huh haha <laughs> don't come any closer it's dangerous what the hell's happening? I don't know what's going on. It will be wise not to touch, but I will calculate that later. The God of Earth, Kubera, you're being calculated. I can't look the other way when someone is struggling right in front of me. <laughs> Tears of my eyes. Tears of my eyes. Hang in there, Rao. You look kind of different. What nonsense are you talking? Zzz. Anyways, this is all right. Why is such a thing in the human body? To be continued. I, f I feel like that has something to do with Anata, the sins or something. The way, like, what is that exactly? And maybe, hold on. Kurigam's comment. There's probably no one who stayed who stayed single for longer than Maruna. <laughs> From the um, blog. The reason Maruna walked around the city wasn't because he couldn't hear the talk of the town. Because spreading his wings in the middle of a city would sound too much. No matter how formidable Ratiri's cloak is, it would not be able to hide the presence of his wings in a crowd of humans. LOL, LOL. He just walked until he was quiet from the city. And no people were around, and then he flew. Okay. Wow, man. What's happening to you? Anada, what'd you do to my guy? What'd you do to him? Because he looks better now, and he's getting... Oh, is he passing? Oh, my God. I got so... Yo, please. Check out that um Anata versus Garuda... Uh, Kubera, one last god discussion I have. I'll have the thing pop up here. The brainstorming that me, Miles, and the chat did, the theory crafting was god tier. I promise you. Go peep that. You gotta see what we came up with, man. It's really good. Y'all be safe. Like the video. Shout out to all of my patrons, my CBLs, the priests of fire, 
but especially my tier three subscribers. The fifth Zan Gods, shout out to Sonny Kathapali, Simi, Shoddy to Your Body, Scope, Revenant, Miles, Chris, Kyan, Tris, Chromizone, Abdel, and my boy Alan. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you.